Thank you, girl. Okay. What's up, J and A Toop? Oh, let me do that again. Your girl is not looking right. I shouldn't have this front camera, y'all. Uh uh, cause now I'm really. But anyways, what's up, J and A Toop? It's your girl Jalen, and we got. Let me start again. What's up, J and A Toop? It's your girl Jalen, and I'm back, back with another video. Okay, so today I'm gonna be doing a story time about the first time I got cheated on. So. For all the people that tuned in, if you cheated on me, don't worry. We're talking about 10th grade. No, I'm just joking. I haven't really got cheated on since this time and been in a relationship. So, that's when I'm not going to let them count. But anyways, so let me tell y'all the first time I got cheated on. This was in 10th grade. So, I was messing with this dude. I'm going to just give him D. I'm going to just say his name is D. And... Y'all was in 10th grade with me. Y'all know what I'm talking about. But anyways, so I used to talk to this boy named D. And we were just, we was just good. Like, at first, this was a long relationship coming because when he was talking to somebody and I was talking to somebody, we it was known that we liked each other, but them people was just, it was just always wrong timing. So finally we we thought we got this time in. All right. So, anyways, so we're messing around. Let me tell you, I'm just going to jump straight into the story of how, like, how I found out and everything. And I don't want to just drag it. So, let me just get straight to how I found out. So, your girl. Let me make sure. So, your girl was sitting in class one day. Boys don't do their research. But, anyways, y'all see why, why I'm saying it. I was just sitting in class one day, just minding my own business. Well, first, let me give a disclaimer. You, most, some people may not know that me and him was in a relationship unless you was my friend and you knew me or, um, I mean, sometimes we'll pop up on social media, but I'm not really big on, like, doing the extra stuff. It's like, if you know, you know, you don't, you don't, like, I don't, I never was one to care too much about any of that extra stuff. But anyway, so, so I don't know if she knew, so I, I, but I didn't hold nothing against her. So anyways. So, we was sitting in class one day. I'm just sitting there talking to my friend, Shandria. Hey, Andrea, because I know she probably watching me. Yeah, I'm just sitting there talking to my friend, Shandria. And this girl, she comes and she sits right in front of me, right? So, now that I'm saying it out loud, I guess it may, that was kind of weird. I don't know. She could have been trying to tell me. I don't know. Anyways, so I'm sitting in class, and this girl sits right in front of me, but she sits down super slow like this, like, and this is right in front of me, right? So she sits down. She goes, oh, oh, oh. Hey, Jalen and Drew. Mind you, this is like 9 in the morning because is it 9? I know it's the second class of high school so i don't and I, I think our classes started at eight so i'm thinking this is now my nine o'clock class but i'm not too sure i know it's the morning it could have been the first class but who know no i don't know anyway so she actually she, she's all in pain and sore right so i'm you know me i'm just like um girl why what's wrong with you why are you sitting like that and she goes i cannot make this story up y'all she goes oh, I just lost my virginity. I'm just in so much pain. So I'm like, oh. And then Shandria, my friend Shandria, she goes, uh, you just lost your virginity. Who you lose your virginity to, girl? And then she was like, he told me not to say, so I'm not going to say. So we was like, okay, didn't say nothing about it. So I guess, I don't know if they texting. Her. I don't know if she's texting him or what, but I guess he like, he's not talking to her. Like, he's not responding to her now like ignore her messages so now she's getting irritated in class like i can just see like and then, so i'm just like what's wrong she was like you know after i did all that now he don't want to talk to me no more and just ignore me and stuff like that and i'm like do we go to our school because probably he's in the class like it's he's probably not ignoring you he's probably just in the class you know and she was like it could be, but I'm going to just tell y'all because I just want uh, y'all's advice and I see y'all hang out with him a lot. So, I guess you don't know we hang out with him because, you know, it's my nigga, but hey, whatever. So, she was like, but it's D. So, I'm like, who? And she's like, no, D, like, 
yeah we just started talking but i'm so stupid because i was only talking to him for a week and yeah this morning um yeah it, was, it had been after the second class because she was like this morning during first period we skipped we didn't come to school we they got they walked to the school bus but they didn't go they went somewhere else after and so she just got back to school because he just uh dropped her off or his brother dropped him off somebody dropped him off okay i'm still in the shock so you know so um now i'm just digging questions i'm just like oh so y'all da, 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 how long y'all talk get get all this information just so i can just you know you know you know so i'm just like okay cool 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 and i'm just telling her so mind you me and d eat lunch together we normally eat lunch together or i eat with my friends he with his friends but normally we eat lunch together so i was like okay girl well do you want to eat lunch with me today because you seem like you need a friend and i want to be a friend y'all could say it's messy petty it probably was i don't know it could have been anyways i was like you need a friend like yeah so she's like yeah um she'll like that mind you we still friends so it's not like i just used her like we still friends we still we ate lunch together after she was a little upset that I didn't tell her right away that, you know, my situation with him, but hey, I don't care. But anyway, so, so I'm like, hey, you, you want to eat lunch with us? Because I know that he's going to eat lunch with me or whatever. So she's like, yeah, you know, and I never see her at lunch. I don't know. So I don't know if she's seen with her friends. I don't know. I just invited her like, mm. so we get in the lunch line. We're in the lunch line and I just see him walking out with his friends and she's right beside me. So I'm like, let me see what this nigga going to do. Let me see this nigga go do so he literally just walks up to me and gives me a kiss on the cheek while she's standing right there and then i just see her like mouth drop i didn't think he was gonna do all that he don't do all that okay we don't do okay so i didn't expect that so it's not what that's not what my intention was for her i just wanted them to come clean i just want him to come clean really in front of me she already told me what she needed to tell me okay but i'm not gonna tell this girl my information just because she wanted to tell me her information after i say we only really that was we we was class and friends but we wasn't really friends so just because she wanted to tell me her information who she lay with don't mean i have to tell her that like I, no i no so i was just taking in the information so anyway so yeah so we in the lunch so she he did that so her mouth just dropped and i'm just looking at her like um damn like i didn't expect him to do that so then she goes she runs to the bathroom so my other friend goes and follow her to the bathroom and then i guess they go brief her so then i so i'm looking at him and i just smack this nigga like everybody looking like what the hell and i'm just like because like i i was really smacking him for her because that was just so disrespectful and what she was saying was true i believed her okay i seen the messages i seen everything so i'm just like you ain't have to play her like that like you could you could at least came to us talk to us and told what happened when you see me right beside her but don't just take this girl virginia that same day and just treat her like she's not there like no that was just so it was so gross like ugh, ugh. So I smacked him. So he like, what the hell? And you know, we all, me and him arguing, cussing each other out. And then, so he figured out that I know, of course. And um, the um, disciplinary person came and got him. Like, cause we going off like in on each other. So got him and whatever, talked to him, trying to calm him down. And you know, I'm good. Like I said what I need to say. Like I ain't finna act out crazy now it is what it is so um of course he didn't tell like i smacked him or anything like i ain't in trouble or none of, none of that like nobody said anything like it wasn't that serious i mean physical violence you shouldn't put your hands on people but hey so uh so yeah so then so i'm just going my rest of my day um me and her so after my friend told her i came back and briefed her and told her you know why i didn't tell her like i just wanted to see what he was gonna say i didn't want her to give him the opportunity to tell him like to go off on him like i mean it's her place too but i just felt it was my place to say it first so um so then yeah so i let her know everything so she had the ammunition i guess if she wanted to go off on him um that was cool i was still kind of like 
Okay, he was like my first, so I still kind of had like close feelings. So I just advised her she can do that, but don't put your hands on him. Like, I get what he did, but not your place to put your hands on him, sweetie. <laughs> so yeah, so I just you know just brute on that, and then um so so now I go home. And I'm not really mad anymore. Like, my friend, it always be my friends are more mad than me. But my friends are more mad. So, I'm just saying, I'm just not talking to him no more. Like, period. And so, when we we got off the school bus, he walked to my house from his, from where he get his stop is. And as for a walk, I don't know why he did that. <laughs> but anyway, so he did that. So, he was, like, beating on my door, trying to talk to me. And I'm like, I'm not talking to him. One of my friends go downstairs to go talk to him and um my dude is like immature i am i am just in 10th grade so it's like um yeah so i'm just like i'm not talking to him like i because mind you it was like this is a real relate like relationship like he helped me move like all my stuff we did we went through so much like it was just now that was just the final straw i never been through like cheating or anything so it was just weird it was just a weird area for me like i didn't know what to do like what not to do and stuff like that so i just didn't want to talk to him i'm just like i'm just not gonna talk to him like i had other people that i wanted to talk to anyway not like that but like i'm just like hey i just get back with my ex that wasn't before you anyways like i ain't even tripping like whatever so i'm just like so i'm just like i don't want to talk to him so he's over there begging to talk to me and then i think my mom go out and talk to him because he won't leave the uh thing but i'm just not talking to him so uh yeah that's pretty much it but we became because i know you're like when did, did i eventually talk to him i eventually talked to him we had a class together so it was like and he said right behind me in class so it's like i had to talk i had to talk to him eventually so I ended up talking to him and we became cool like now he's still like one of my closest friends like we don't talk as much but we still talk to each other you know like on our birthdays and stuff like that because never mind but um but uh yeah like and if he ever needed something and you know I'm here and yeah so and he would still always be like my close friend so and he's probably watching this so hi yeah, so that's the first time that I have got cheated on. So it happens to everyone. Hey. And yeah.